Broadcasting USA, America's favorite cable network. frozen and, and sounding like a robot but uh, hopefully things will calm down here in a minute uh you are watching weird fantastic toy adventures this is up all night and i am bill your host and uh it appears that i like salt has got to work tomorrow so he's going to miss the show tonight uh johnny Sorensen came in early uh spiced ham spam 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 spamming eggs hello obs good to see you and John is here from Figuratively Speaking. And uh, that's about it for right now. But hopefully some more will show up. Uh, good to see you, OBS. Glad you're here. Got a brand new song tonight. Uh, we'll be playing that when we get to music and fun. Uh, we have a uh, couple of segments to go before we get to music and fun. But uh, I've got, uh, got it set up a little better now. I think it's going to work out better. Uh, give me a sound check there, John. And OBS, let me know how I'm sounding. And uh, I'm going to bring Jones in while you guys let me know what's going on there. What's up, everybody? It's Jones, your favorite comic book guy. So let's do this. I hope they're doing okay. We got random diorama just joined us. He wants some spam and eggs. Well, you're going to get them here in a minute. Don't worry. Sound great. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Uh, no audio on you, Joneser, he said. What? And I don't know why. How about now? Back out and come back in, Joneser, if that helps. How about now? I can hear you fine. Okay. I will return. Jonesy. All right, Jonesy's going to try to reboot himself there and see if that does it. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. He, he was good until until he left to come back. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, we're waiting for him to come back. He'll be back in just a second, guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's live. You never know what's going to happen. So there you go. All right. Well, it's good to see everyone here. I'm glad you all are here. As soon as I can get Jones or back, there he is. Uh, they they said they could hear you right after you fucking left. Uh, that's funny. That is funny. Uh, they don't tell us what we're going to do. mic on and off. That, 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 that usually does it. When, that, I do that with the camera fine. It, it was fine. Too much delay. You ain't live with us. It's a time warp. Yeah, it's that damn lag. We, yeah, we 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 got we got that 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 hell of a lag. It usually starts out really really bad at the beginning and gets better as the uh, night goes. Hey, Nightwing, what's up, man? All right, uh, so I got a couple of things that we're going to do tonight. Oh uh, yeah, there he is. A uh, couple of things we're going to do tonight. Then we'll get into some music and fun. We've got one brand new one going on, uh, and I've got a brand new commercial for our friend Mike over at. Uh, manic plastic toy shop that, and i want you guys to try to support him uh and if uh mike fee hey what's going on man mike if you can put up a link to uh manic plastic toy shop.com or whatever his link is uh I'm, i i think that's what it is uh so that folks can know how to get over there to him because he's got some good deals if you're looking for a figure and ebay prices are getting to you he's going to have the best prices his prices are going to beat what you see on ebay that's a nice looking there uh uh batwing uh and you still haven't broken the canopy yet i'm i'm surprised i never even altered it or messed with the spring i got lucky 
I was one where you push the button and it was fine right out of the gate. It's a matter of time. I'd be careful with it. I would, I would, I would ease it out. I would put my hand on it when I opened it, so that it doesn't just spring open. And Nightwing is waving at us. Hey. All right, so uh, the first first little segment I want to get into is called Memes of the Week. Now, if you are a channel member or a Patreon and you have a uh, uh, Instagram uh, like I do, you see it down right down here below me over here where it says Weird Fantastic Toys at Weird Fantastic Toys on Instagram. That's me. If you are a Patreon or a channel member, uh, there is a team chat over there for my weird, fantastic team that you could be a member of. And we tend to just have a lot of fun over there during the week uh, when we're drudging away at work and uh, home resting. Oh, yikes. Uh, sorry about that, Nightwing. Hope you get to feeling better, bud. But anyway, yeah, if you go over there, yeah, you'll notice that there, there are some memes that come up on there. And some of them come. From, thank you, Mike. Some of them come from me and some of them don't, but uh, I picked some of my memes for the week and I thought I would just show them off to you guys. Uh, some of them are, are funnier than others, but it, it's just the, the 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 memes that have popped through during the week. Yeah, man, I uh, got, got prayers for you. Everybody put some prayer emojis out there for Nightwing to let him know you're thinking about him. So uh, over here, uh, this, uh, this, of course, is a, a nice little meme for you guys, if you can find it, uh, to use whenever drama starts in the threads. Oh, shit, the comments have already started. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Got the popcorn, got a big old drink. He's getting ready to watch all the fun. Now, let me ask you something, Bill. Um, I yeah. am going to throw myself under the bus a little bit here, but I'm wondering about you. I used to, and I'm going to say used to in past tense because I do not do this anymore. But I used to like to go into like places like fake book or uh, Insta spam or, or uh, you know, um, lib talk or wherever. And I would go into the comment section and I might I might uh, stir the pot a little. Try to try to get some of this energy flowing. Oh, that's called trolling, my friend. And yes, I have been guilty of doing that in the past myself. You you know what's going to stir these people up. So you go ahead and throw that little that little trigger out there so that you can watch all the fun happen after you do that yes uh, it, it's a naughty 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 thing and uh, when when you become aware of it that people do that because you've been doing it too then you know that if you don't show them any uh, uh, attention then generally they go away because they're not getting what they want right the, the, the rule of thumb is do not feed the troll yeah. And uh, Mike, Mike admits that he's trolled before. Heaven forbid. I troll back the trollers. Oh, that's fun too because that, that keeps the nonsense going on and on and on because it never ends if you keep no. beating it. No, and, and I uh, do Jamie think Jamie, that's, that your meme here, um, that it, it rolls right into that, that people do come to the comments to see this. That's where all the fun is, and if you and if you're on the X, also known as the Twitter, uh, uh, open up those hidden comments because that's where the real fun shit is. Pro tip. Mm -hmm. Pro tip for Lehu Zerhers. Hmm. Chats are funny. They'll stick on a thing and just keep on going and on and on and on and on. And Radical Mom is here. Hey, Radical Mom. Sorry I didn't shout you out when you hopped in. She said, evening, Bill and Joneser. People are funny. People are hilarious. Sue Studio you know, thing, is with us. The thing I find uh, funny in these uh, trolling of the chats and things like that is especially when you, and I'm not going to go too far down this rabbit hole, but when you get into the political talks and there's always that one trying to like convert the other side to his way of thinking. Have you ever seen that work? Has anyone went, you know, no. your uh, meaningful comment has convinced me to stop doing my long held political beliefs and go to your side. 
No, you're not gonna you're not gonna bring somebody over to your side. You're not gonna force somebody to to, to abandon their beliefs and come. As a matter of fact, no, even if you are correct and they are completely wrong and there's uh, empirical evidence to prove it, they're just gonna double down every time. And that's that's a that's a fact, Jack. Gilster, hey man, good to see you. Glad you glad you joined us, man. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move to the next one here. Um, this one was directed directly at Anthony Joneser. Um, it, uh, the honey, look, uh, look at this, uh, uh, 1972 issue of the Marvel's Avengers and blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's nice, dear. Uh, th this is taken live from my living room. Every time I get a comic book or toy, I'm proud of my, my wife could give two shits what the heck i got she ain't into it she ain't listening you know oh is that that funny little man from that funny little show you made me watch where i scrolled through my phone the whole time and paid no attention to it yeah it was that <laughs> yeah that was aimed directly at you joneser and i think you got a laugh out of that i think i saw some laughing emojis out of you when i posted it. that that hit home didn't it? It, it it still hurts bill it still hurts i don't know if i'll ever get over the butt hurt of this accomplished my my goal uh with that particular meme yes yes it was too real and then of course i and then of course i came across this because as you know batman doesn't hold back when he's fighting superman he will use every mean that he will expose superman to deadly kryptonite which if we if we go into the lore of superman and kryptonite if superman is exposed to kryptonite for far too long he suffers from kryptonite poisoning which there is no cure for, and he would die and turn green. I thought that and happened ABS and they just like threw him into the sun and he came out like God or something. Um, that sounds like something out of that uh, what is it, the Superman book that they did, uh, Superman Unbound or some shit. Uh, they yeah, one the I want to feel like that the, he he was in that kryptonite trance or whatever, and they just shot his ass into the sun, and he came out like, you know. I know, I know. Yellow, the Bronze Age war was you. You're exposed to it for too long. You turn green, and you're a Kryptonian. You turn green and die. And there's no there's no cure once you turn green. That's it. You're you're dead. And I think they even did a what if story where he did die or something. And yeah, the, whatever happened to the man of from tomorrow, which is a really that great was, story. That is a great story. He exposed himself to gold kryptonite in that one. I'm thinking of much, much earlier. But yes, yes. Uh, that here Superman exposed Batman to polio. And uh, oh, how could you do this to me? Oh, you exposed me to kryptonite. I thought it was funny. <laughs> And then, of course, somebody posted uh, 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 toys that uh, that never made it to the shelf, and I think it was the the, the prison fight game or whatever. And then my follow up to that was the My Little Pony Glue Factory, which I would buy this toy. Would you not, Jones? Or uh, it, no, <laughs> my sister played with My Little Ponies. <laughs> these these were uh, the better. better. You got the glue factory. She's got the ponies. Okay. Okay, sis, the ponies are going to the glue factory. My childhood. What have you done? <laughs> OBS. Kryptonite weakens. No kill Superman. Re. All right. All right. No cure for bad plots, says Johnny Sorensen. All right. That's All right. true. Uh, Read the X Men comics. Going on. You know. Now, this, this would be me uh, if anyone mentions the moon landings because we all know that that was staged in a Hollywood stage out in Arizona and Stanley Kubrick directed it. Right, Jones? Are right, right. Nobody went to the moon. Are you trying to get me to admit on tape and on camera that I don't believe the moon landing is real? Yes. Oh. Well, I, you know, here, here's my thoughts on the moon landing and if it was fake or not. I am going to go on record to say that I don't know. I am not smart enough to tell you if they did or didn't go. Could they have faked that shit? Absolutely. Could they have actually done it? Probably that too. I do find it a little strange. They haven't been back on modern day technology, but they got there in 1960s technology. That's a little weird to me. But anyways, uh, you know, that's here nor there. Could they have faked it? Yes. Could they have actually done it? Yes. Do I know shit about it? No. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Bill, you are a seriously sick man, says Sue Studio. When did you find that out? Whatever tipped you off. Black. What's up, Black Sivarak? General Black Sivarak, the general of the Monkey Lizard Army, and he is here with us straight from the mothership. Uh, warning, Black, uh, we're going to be playing a song and music and fun later on tonight that uh, maybe the kiddies might not all listen to. Just, just, a, just a hint there. We've got some brand new stuff coming up. Now, uh, moving on we, uh, uh, to the next uh, meme that got posted. Uh, this is an ad for Aunt Esther Purses uh, that I found. And, and it, uh, I, this is, this is be, uh, the most beautiful ad that I've seen in a long time. When Women, protect yourself with heavy-duty Aunt Esther purses. Watch it, sucker. Watch it, sucker. You can see the purse, the purse in action there. And uh, you can see some of the purses that we that they have available there. The pucker popper, uh, the handbagger, the slapjack, uh, the brown bomber, and, of course, the peacemaker. The peacemaker uh, is the most expensive one there. It looks like it's got some uh, some studded pieces or something there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't get you, sucker. <laughs> and then next, uh, this is the reason that we're all going to live forever uh, in Gen X is because these vitamins right here were the best. I can remember eating these by the handful like they were candy. We're Flintstone kids, one million strong and growing. Uh, Johnny Sorensen says satellites and phones are fake too. Well, we all know about you too, Mr. AI. I think you're fake. I will say this too about the Gen X thing. I seen a uh, TikTok. I know you love TikTok so much, Bill, and you love it when I plug it. But um, there was a guy calling out. Uh, well, you know what? I'm sick of from Gen X, and and then somebody cuts him off. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing, dear dude? You don't call out Gen X. Are you crazy? First off, let me tell you what. I grew up with Gen X, and what did they do for fun? They made each other cry. These people are mean. If you tell them what you don't like, they're going to come here and do it. Well, the thing about Gen X is we're out of it. Don't drag us into it. You really don't want us there. Well, the reason we're not there is because we really don't fucking care. Don't wake us up, Jay. It's the F around and find we out. We were the generation. last generation that took care of ourselves. Nobody fucking raised us. We raised ourselves. Where did we used to play? In abandoned fucking lots and construction sites and shit like that. Well, not only that, Bill. Um, they, they had to put a thing on the news at night to remind parents that they even had children. Like, hey, it's 9 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? And No, they don't. And they don't care. I was told I was told to come home when the street light came on. They didn't give a shit where I was as long as the street light wasn't on. Right. No, that that is uh, the the last of a uh, uh, the dying breed. You know, the Generation X. They don't make them like that no more. Hey, uh, I'm a fakir, not a faker. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Going on to the next one here. Uh, there was once an amphibian named Jeremiah, who was my confidant of highest esteem. I was unable to grasp the nuances of his speech, but barely I did assist him in the consumption of alcoholic beverages. Joy to you and me. Lax Sivrat got his kick out of that one. It's 1021. Do you know where you're kidding exactly i i think i know where mine is but she's 30 years old she can do what she wants now right yeah, yeah. you're a teenager too uh we're two nice kids here i got teenagers bill and i'll tell you what these teenagers nowadays are not teenagers like i know teenagers it's like when i was a kid we all smoked dope and drank alcohol and had premarital <laughs> sex and freaking did horrible things to other people and each other and you know we played horrible games like red rover red rover send bill on over and then we like broke this kid's collarbone and laughed about it at lunchtime like you know what i mean it, these kids nowadays are different i'll call him a pussy when he hit the ground holding and show you pussy get up get up 
<laughs> yeah, but it, it these kids nowadays they don't do all the stuff that we did when we were kids, and that's probably for the best, if I'm being honest, you know. But uh, I do worry because they're so dependent on technology nowadays. So now they're not, you know, out smoking dope and chasing women and doing stupid things like I was doing. They're playing their Halo video game or their Fortnite or whatever, teabagging each other. Dude, you suck, dude. Oh, I got you. Pow, pow. Oh, fuck you. Uh, you know, that's their Friday. They got to go to fucking work. Well, my kids, yeah, I make them work. They're 15 and 17 and they both have jobs. Raise them right. Good old collarbone collar. You ever have an orange peel fight in the cafeteria? We try to squirt it in each other's eyes. We had an actual food fight in the cafeteria. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm talking. You don't think I splash this orange juice in your face, motherfucker? And then, the, then, then they started fighting, right? And then what did we do? We threw food at them while they were fighting. <laughs> yeah. uh, they took us. They, they took us to the office and whipped our ass for that too. They don't do that anymore either. We were told to bury our feelings deep inside. Now they teach kids emotions at four. They teach them other things at four, too, that we weren't taught at four. We didn't think about that shit. We were busy calling each other gay. Right. Well, and it's funny because that, that kind of thing maybe didn't age well. There's a few words, you know, from those days that where we used to use them as insults, like, you know, oh, you're retarded or whatever. Well, we don't talk like that anymore we don't do that you know which so oh, in some ways right so in some ways the world has progressed and we've gotten better but it's also made softer children what kind of stuff did you mix up in that fruit cup Ugh. oh my god okay oh uh, you man you, you man you hung on brutal kids we were brutal to each other uh, we were the ones that bullied each other. We finally got to, the, I, I got to the point where I figured it out. All right. They're not bullying me all the time because guess what? When it's not my turn and somebody else is it, I'm right in there with the rest of them bullying that one. So we all had our turn. Well, here, here's a game that you might remember and another name that probably didn't age well, but there was a game called smear the queer. You remember this? And yeah, it's basically, yeah, basically uh, an yeah, updated. Yeah. It's an updated version to kill the guy with the ball. That's basically what it is. You know, the guy has the ball and then everybody just tries to annihilate this person and you just try to hold on to the ball as long as you can while your friends are trying to murder you. And that's basically the game. I don't think there's a way to win it or a point system or anything like that. You just kill the guy with the ball. Good times. We played guns with BB guns. I did that too. I'm guilty of that. We, I, I, I can remember shooting Greg Freeman I hit his eye right here, not in the eye, but right below the eye with fucking BB gun. Sue Studio with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you, dear. And she got a microphone on that. She's ready for the music. Well, we'll get to the music in a minute. We got we got a couple. Oh, we got this segment and one other to go. So here we go. Uh, vegans. So I started this vegan diet and I feel so much healthier. I was thinking of making my dog a vegan as well. And the dog smothers his ass in her fucking sleep. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you know, you see that where like the people on there, they're like, oh, my cat's vegan too. It's like, yeah, put some tuna out there and let's You'll see. Kill your cat if you do that. You're a fucking animal cruelty motherfucker if you try to put your cat on a vegan diet. There was a couple over there in Arkansas that did that shit and the damn kitten nearly damn died. They're carnivores. They must eat meat. Glued thumbtacks to the end of our Nerf darts. That That's pretty fucking brutal. I can remember having snowball fights with rocks inside the snowballs. You've ever done yeah, that? Yeah, we shit? would do that too. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, did you have, when you shoot each, uh, your friends with the BB guns, we used to, or the pellet gun or whatever you had, we used to have a little like a two pump rule. Like you could, but if you couldn't pump it more than that, because that's, you, you might break the skin or something. So we had a two pump rule. He's just we had to we had to pump that motherfucker up as much as you can and try to hurt somebody with the son of a bitch. You shouldn't have got in the way. I saw your ass. That's why you 
shot, motherfucker. You should have hid better. You know what's funny is I watched my boys playing in the yard, and they're playing with Nerf guns, just regular Nerf guns, regular Nerf bullets. And one of them gets hit with the Nerf gun and starts crying. And I, it came over wanting some sympathy for me and his mother. And I was like, you freaking pussy. We used to shoot each other with BB guns. Get your ass back out there and play with your goddamn foam dart bullet and shut. Be quiet. Are you serious? Long darts is all I got to say, and we didn't play that right either because we throw the darts at each other. Super so still his piece. And of course, uh Johnny Sorensen's busy over there doing things, and I, I I wanted to show this off. This is a Mexican ripoff toy of Robert Cop 2. I'd be back. This is the furniture of law enforcement, folks. Nice. I want I want that Robert Cop figure. If anybody has a Robert Cop figure, send that my way. I would I, I would treasure this. I'm, I'm I'm I don't know if you knew this or not. Uh, Masters Maniac Mexico knew it, but I I'm a sucker for this kind of shit, especially Mexican bootlegs. Yes. Oh sure, yeah these knockoffs. Hey Jeff, I I didn't call you out. Good good to see you, Jeff. Glad you showed up, man. And finally. This is why I didn't text you back. It wasn't that I was asleep. It wasn't that I was driving. It wasn't that I was ignoring you. It wasn't that I forgot. I did see your text, and I told myself that I was going to respond, but I wanted to finish what I was doing first. After that, I got sidetracked and went to do something else and completely forgot your text even existed because I was stuck in my own tiny little world until I went out to text you days or even weeks later about something completely unrelated. Joneser and I do that to each other all during the week because he and I both are bad about not being on any social medias except at lunch break and then only for a minute or two and then moving on. We got to go back to work. Man. Oh. Something broke out in the plant and I had to get out there. I might have been mid-sentence with you and I had to run. Hell yeah. And and, and I'm my my thing is. All right. So I was I was I was on it more today than I have been all week long. Why? Well, see, I'm probably telling on myself, uh, I didn't do a whole lot of work today because it was Friday, and I already had a, a backup plan that I made on Monday. I had a box of already made parts ready to go to the shelf so that I could get my quota for the day without having to make three whole boxes. <clears throat> Yikes. I hope my boss isn't listening. Hi, Dan. I told my secret. Why? <laughs> 88. Mr. Field. Kids bow and arrow sets, cap pistols, long darts were cool. They took them off the market after such a short time. Look, the bow and arrow sets, especially the ones you get at the drugstore, we used to take the little rubber stopper off the end of it and just shoot that at each other. Um, Did I lose you, Jones? -er? I lost Jones. Anyway, we're we're through with that particular set of, uh, of, of 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 what's going on here. The plant broke. Get inside a vault. Did everyone hit the like button on the way to the chat? I hope you did. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. What's going on here? I think Jones turned his camera off, folks. He'll be back in just a minute. I hope. Anyway, uh, while Jones is out, let's uh, let's hit a commercial here real quick.
coming from the farthest reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on Earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the Battle of the Superpowers Collection. <laughs> What's this? The Batman who laughs has taken over the Hall of Justice? Who can stop this evil menace? It's Batman in the Batwing! Don't worry, Batman. Batman in the Whirly Bat is coming. <gasps> what just happened? Don't worry, here comes Batman and Batman in the Batmobile. Oh, for <laughs> Which Batman will save the day? You decide. Batman, 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 and Batman who laughs come with everything you see here. Batmobile, Batwing, and Whirly Bat each sold separately. The Superpowers Collection from McFarlane Toys. And now, these messages. the big guy with the muscles. Here's He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Skeletor is his enemy. He-Man, He-Man. Here's He-Man, Skeletor, and Castle Grayskull. You have to put the castle together. You're doomed, He-Man. Oh, yeah? Watch this action, Dad. He-Man. Now I have the power. He-Man and Skeletor each sold separately. Castle Grayskull also sold separately from the Masters of the Universe collection from Mattel. As evening approaches Toothopolis, so do the cavity creeps. Oh, no! Oh, cavity creeps! Hurry, the crest's up. <laughs> cavity creeps spotted. We made holes in teeth. Crest with florist candles, fix them. <laughs> Not crest! Yay, crest! Watch treats. See your dentist. And fight the cavity creeps like the crest team. Fight cavities with crest! Coming from the farthest reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on Earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the Battle of the Superpowers Collection. What's this? The dam's about to blow and take Robin with it? Who'll stop the Joker and Luther? Aquaman! Kenner's new Superpowers Collection figures with power action, each sold separately with its own mini-comic. Aquaman, stay home. Who can help now? A power ring, a power action punch. Defuse the bomb! Can this madness be stopped in time? You decide. There goes the Honeycomb hideout. We're back in caveman time. Me big caveman. Want big cereal. Try Honeycomb. It's a big mouthful. Honeycomb's big. Big, big, big. Got a big bite. Right, right, right. Honeycomb's a big mouthful. It tastes just right. Post Honeycomb cereal is part of a balanced breakfast. It's big mouthful. Honeycomb's a big mouthful. It tastes just right. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, howdy, partner. Time for timer. Do you ever get that hungry feeling after school? Boy, I do. I'm so hungry, I could eat a wagon wheel. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on! <laughs> Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down. Or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slabber slice a chunk of, a snack or is a winner. And yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo! And we are back, and I wish we were in the 80s again, says Jeff, so do I. And so does Mary Otwald, the radical mom. Yep, the 80s were a wonderful golden time, folks. They really were. Uh, looking at our subscriber goal, I'm at 927 last I looked, and I think that that's about correct up there. So uh, if you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Check your subscriptions. If YouTube has a habit of unsubscribing people. Uh, Lack knows that. He's had it happen to him before. Uh, Blues Brothers is a classic movie. Yes, it was. Four fried chickens and a Coke. I thought you said you didn't drink the soda pops anymore there, uh, Lack. And Rolando Flores is with us. Hello, Rolando. Good to have you with us tonight. Uh, we got all the usual suspects in the house tonight. 
Uh, the Super Chats are open. Uh, we operate on Super Chats. We've already had one tonight. Thank you, Sue Studio. Uh, Super Chats keep the channel open and keep uh, new stuff flowing in. They, they will help uh, me get a new computer someday if I keep getting them. The weekend goal is always $50, so that's that's down there at the bottom there. You can see our goal, and uh, we haven't we've got even scratched the surface yet at only about 4%. So. And if you do Super Chat, please let me know a song or something off of the music and fun list that you would like. Are you speaking, sir? I was just waving hi. I saw Rolando said hi to me in the chat. I was just mouthing yeah. his name and wiggling my fingers. That's all. Lack only drinks raw milk, water, scotch, and red wine. And Sue Studio oh, liked the Starsky and Hutch movie. I liked Starsky and Hutch back in the day. I don't know about that movie. I never saw that. Maybe it was good. Never saw it. You see it? I can't say that I did. Rolando mm. in the house. Love you, Rolando. All right, Burr. Good to see everybody. All right, so uh, the next uh, next thing is uh, what, uh, what the main thing of this night is. Now, see... For some reason, the last time that I put some delicious recipes up here, all I got was vomit emojis in the chat. I can't understand why nobody liked all that good, yummy food that I showed. And I even showed you how to make it, gave you a whole recipe. And Joneser told me that he was sick of the damn gelatin. No more jello. Okay, fine. I think I've got some recipes that even Joneser will like, and he's pretty picky. So. Let's see what we got on the list here. Uh, here's some Jones easy is to not do recipes. You just here. don't mix meat and jello. My mom dated the actor that played Starsky. Oh, amazing. In the wow. movie or in the in a real TV show. All right. So uh, here's some delectable dishes, easy to do home recipes using our very own favorite, wonderful spiced meat. The Hormel product Spam. So let's go to the first dish here. This is Spam and Macaroni Loaf. For a harmonious blend, a uh, taste blend, arrange alternate layers of Spam slices and macaroni mixture in a loaf pan. Bake in a pan of water at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until firm. Serve with broccoli blossoms accented with your favorite sauce. Top billing with any audience. Now that has to be a good meal. Broccoli spam with macaroni mixture. You would eat it, right, Joneser? That's good, man. Yum. I, I, I want to see what else we got here. That, that this is a. This oh, is a. Come on, man. Look, it's a I, savory I, symphony. Right. See, the, the last time we did one of these, I agreed to some ham loaf thing or whatever, and I have yet to eat that yet. But, uh, you know, well, let's see it's what, what pops would you out here. This? I mean, I would always take a no thank you bite of anything. Spam and eggs, top of the morning, golden honey on piping hot biscuits. Fried egg with edges, lacy, crisp, hearty slices of broiled spam. The perfect, cool morning breakfast. A triumph in ration points, too, because spam is all good to eat. No bones, no waste, no surplus fat. That's a breakfast made of champions right there. Look at that fried egg with them crispy edges on it. I would eat all of this. Me, too. That's some good food right there, Jack. Yep, I would eat that. Now, here's our Spam dinner recipe because we can have Spam for lunch or we can have it for breakfast or we can have it for dinner. Full point value, no waste, no bone, no surplus fat. Broil or fry thick slices of Spam or studded whole Spam with cloves. Bake 20 minutes, basting with sauce. One and a half teaspoons of vinegar. Third a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of prepared mustard, a teaspoon of water, served with lima beans and a baked potato. Ugh, a dish made for king. Not not feeling the lima beans, if I'm being honest, but 
grass-fit sounds okay. You don't eat? Are you not a vegetable eater? Dude, come on. I work at, uh, I almost named it, but uh, I work at a uh, plant where all we do is process organic vegetables. What is it about lima beans that you don't like? Not big on them. Okay. Is that like a soybean or a sweet bean or whatever? Like uh, lima beans? We do soy no, beans. They're, they're, they're not like so no, no. These are not soybeans. So lima beans are like green, wonderful little beans, and then they can be cooked. They have to be cooked properly and seasoned. I have to say, they can be a little bland otherwise. Okay, here's plank spam. Spam hits the spot. Score a whole spam and rub with brown sugar surrounded on the plank with tomato slices capped with large mushrooms doused in butter. <laughs> Bake 25 minutes in a hot oven and then ring with mashed potatoes and slip back in the oven for a quick browsing. Bring it back to the table, plank and all, and be greeted with cheers. Look delicious, Johnson. It's okay. I think if I had to pick one of these, I'd be going with the spam and eggs. Spam and eggs. Okay, so you're you're, you're that, that 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 that's not really much there. That's that's kind of normal. All right, how about a spam cheeseburger? Fun on a bun. Two slices, slice two of ham on one half of buttered bun, cheese on the other. Under the broiler to the spam is golden brown and cheese is bubbling hot. Dills, olives, mustard, or mayonnaise, then bite into a super snack. That's a good one right there. Easy I would do to make this. quick, fun. This Me is too. this is a doable. I can do that. Now, this is the coup d'etat, but this is not the last one. The last one is I, I'm saving the best for last, but Here's the, cheese, the Spam and Cheese Ribbon Loaf. This is a summer night sensation. Tender pure pork Spam joined with a zesty cream cheese mixture for a memorable eating. Serve for supper or lunch or a noteworthy appetizer. Cut into eight slices, one whole Spam. Mix together three ounces of cream cheese softened with just a little milk. One teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of grated onion. Got to have the onions. One uh, tablespoon of parsley, a quarter tablespoon of salt spread between slices of Spam. Chill four hours or longer overnight if desired. Slice and serve. Good with deviled eggs or potato salad. Man, doesn't that look yummy? They had me at deviled eggs. You were, you were ready to go right there, weren't you? Right there. That's some good food right there. Good food. Good food. A wonderful morning delight right here. How about Spam Cakes? Using good old Bisquick trademark. Spam baked right in the middle. This is fun, both in making and eating. The folks will love these tender golden Bisquick pancakes, each one centered with a sizzling slice of Spam. Mix up that Bisquick batter, brown your Spam on the griddle, and then turn the Spam slices and then pour the butter over each slice. Turn it again. And there you are. Big old hungry sized pancakes. You just put, put that batter over that Spam slice and then flip it. Spam in the middle of a pancake. Ready for some maple Man, syrup. How to, how to ruin a pancake? Like, come on, dude. That's not a ruin pancake. A pancake. That's making a pancake ten times better. No. That is ruining a pancake. You don't think that I would be good? Go. Spam and pancake? Nope. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll move along to the next one here. Spam and yam fiesta loaf. Luscious with clean peaches from your great state of California. This is a California fiesta, my friend. Yeah, I know. Summer sunshine. Okay, all right. For a winter meal, simply cut a Spam loaf into two crosswise. Between the two layers, spread canned sweet potatoes, mashed and seasoned. Surround with golden cling peaches from California. They got to be from California. They can't be from anywhere else. 
Top with a fan of peach slices. Drizzle on peach juice seasoned with a half a teaspoon of prepared mustard. Bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 to 35 minutes. I don't mind the spams, but I'm not sure about the yams. But sweet potatoes are good, man. You don't like sweet potatoes? No, I'm not a fan. I have fixed right. Got to have everybody says that, everybody. but every That's time they fix me one, I don't like it. I'm not a sweet potato guy. They're like, oh, sweet potato fries are good. No, they're not. Yeah. Well, well, let's try Dixie Bake then. Using Bisquick biscuits along with tender flavory spam that make our Dixie Bake so bright, good, and quick for any meal. Inspiration for breakfast, lunch, or even supper. Try it and you'll see. 12 ounces of spam, 12 whole cloves of garlic, two cups of Bisquick, two thirds of a cup of milk, half a cup of apricot jam, and a half a teaspoon of dry mustard and a tablespoon of water. 325 degree oven, slice the spam into 12 squares, almost to the bottom, stud with whole cloves, place in an eight inch Square baking dish, add milk all at once to the Bisquick, stir with a fork, and beat 15 strokes. Not 16, not 14, but 15. Roll the dough around on the cloth-covered board, lightly dusted with Bisquick. Knead gently 10 times. Roll a half inch thick and makes about 12 uh, two-inch biscuits. Surround the meat with the biscuits. Spread the meat and biscuits with a mixture of jam, mustard, and water. Bake 20 minutes. Until the biscuits are golden and the meat is cooked through, makes four servings. Yep, that 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 sounds delicious. That's some Betty Crocker cooking there, Jack. What you think? That that seems like a lot of work to me for something that I don't think anybody would eat. Why wouldn't anybody eat that wonderful inspiration there? This quick spam, like I mean, I again, I'm a, I'll take a no thank you bite kind of guy even if i think it's disgusting i'm i was raised polite where oh i'll try it but uh that just seems like a lot of prep work for something that i wouldn't be that excited about come on spam man spam's good for any time caught or cold pop open the can of spam and eat it right out of the can then i don't want to make all that crap okay well we, we, we've come to the last one. I believe this is it here. The Spam Upside Down Pie. Festive and fun to make. A line of greased ring mold with Spam slices. Spam cooks to a golden brown and adds a special flavor. Cut more Spam into small cubes and add the dry ingredients of baking powder and biscuit recipe. Add liquids to make the dough form mold. Bake 40 to 45 minutes at 325 degrees. Turn on a platter. Fill the center with tart cheese sauce. Look at that. Flour, melted butter, uh, two and a quarter cups of milk. Heat and stir till thickened. Add some grated American cheese, mustard, uh, some Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, salt. What's What's that called? Shire sauce. How do you say that? Chestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. War. War. Look, look. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Cooking a double. Cooking a double broiler, stirring to make the mixture smooth until the cheese melts. Serve hot over a spam upside down pie. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I was wondering how you say that. Winchester. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. We've reached the the end of our slideshow. We've reached the end of our slideshow of the wonderful, wonderful food. uh, I'll do the Spam Burger. Don't thank me now. Thank me later after you eat all this wonderful, wonderful food. Um, so, uh, I, I, I stayed true to form, no gelatin in none of this. Yeah, I, I will give you that. That, that was exhausting last time. Oh, the gelatin. I'd have to say, Sue Studio says I'm being a downer and I don't like anything. I'll tell you what, I liked more of these than I liked them jello ones he did. That was terrible. 
Jones would be picky, says Mike. I ain't picky. Yeah, he picky. I eat the ass picky. end of a skunk. You prepared it right. Would, would not. Uh, you 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 wouldn't eat half of the dishes that I had. You, you you said something ugly to me about the 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 tuna bowl jello thing. The jello ones were gross. I I wish I did the cougar enjoy cracking bird sauce. I did enjoy trying to say Worcestershire, what Worcestershire, Winchester, what Winchester, or Perpetrator. I know. Susia says I grew up eating Jello salad. Hmm. Jones is such a downer tonight. Yummy, you know I mean? no. Hey, I ate that tuna melt thing, whatever the hell that was. It was good though, wasn't it? I, I didn't mind it. I never made it again, so it wasn't that good. But uh, I didn't mind it. What? I don't think I'll be eating tonight. Oh. Did I fail again, Joneser? No, nah, the spam one was great. I, I would eat a few of those. A few. I, I like the, the cheeseburger look good. The, the spam and eggs, man. Woo-wee. I'd do that. A lot of the other ones, I'll be honest with you, man, it seemed like a lot of prep work for something that I just wouldn't be that excited about. Like, if I was going to, like, do all that work, I'd make something that I wanted. <laughs> In Jonesy's defense, the Jello ones were freaking nasty. Come on, man. Jello. Yeah. I mean, seriously, uh, anybody in the chat, someone has a, a gun to your head and says you had to eat one of those freaking jello ones. Which one are you picking? That seems like, you know, a choice between like, uh, you know, I don't know, poison or death. You know what I mean? Like, neither one is appealing. Look, I worked so hard on those, and this is the way I get treated. Okay, fine. That's the way you want to play it. <laughs> I'll eat the spam. Jones are not plus. Yeah, he'll try anything. You know, he won't. No, he won't. He made it perfectly clear that he would not. Thank you, man at Plastic Toy Shop. He likes spam. And uh, by the way, Big Mike, we played your commercial earlier. So, uh, and we put your uh, link up in the in the chat as well. So, uh, hopefully, that'll help you get some eyes on. Share his share his link to his toy store out there amongst your social media so you can get some eyes on his toy shop. Uh, in my defense for this, uh, I'm picky and I won't eat certain things. I think I'm about to slaughter you right here. Um, have you ever had escargot, sir? I have not had them. I'm not saying I wouldn't eat them or try them, but I have not had them. Octopus? Are they? Uh, no, I don't eat tentacles and things with suckers on them, no. Then I guess squid neither? Hell no. That's not meant to Snake. be eaten by man. Squirrel. Not that Dark. I not that I yeah, I've eaten squirrel. I I will mm -hmm. admit I'll admit to eating squirrel, but I have not eaten a snake, no. You basically ate a rat when you ate the squirrel, just so you know. They are rodents, but they do not eat what rats eat. Yeah. So are rabbit. rabbits. Rabbits are rodents. Rabbits are rodents as well. And I bet you've had a rabbit. Oh yeah. Um, I've ate at Arby's. You know, uh, that's that's pretty brave. Then you probably oh. eat rat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I've eaten Chinese. So I've probably eaten cat. You know, um, more than likely because you know the cats and the ladle at the Peking moon. Right. All right, so uh, we're getting we're getting up to the to the to the part that everybody loves here, and that's music and fun. And as you can see, I I I I I've worked hard on just one new video for this week. Gross. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I've had squid, octopus, rattlesnake, lamb, buffalo, and rabbit. I've had lamb and buffalo before. Um, I've had all rabbit, of the above. Yes. Oh. Where she, everything she listed mm -hmm. and more. Uh, 
going. Yep, spam is awesome. Spam and eggs for breakfast, man. Yep, that's it. The breakfast of champions. So uh, here's the list, folks. If you want something on this list, uh, Super Chats are welcome. I've got three sets of music already set up. If you want to suggest something that we haven't played or we are, 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 are not in these sets, then uh, this is the list to pick from. Let me know in the chat. Uh, if you do not super chat me, it doesn't mean I won't play it. But if you super chat me, it means that you absolutely will get it. So here we go. Set number one, music and fun. We're going for it. Have fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Seventeen forty six. The place Dramossi Moor, the site of the Battle of Culloden. The Jacobite forces were massacred. In the aftermath of the battle, four hundred or so remaining soldiers were rounded up and taken prisoner, and from there transported south to Carlisle Castle. Once there, the soldiers were lined up. One in every ten were chosen to be executed, and the rest sent home to tell the tale. Legend has it 
there were two brothers, side by side in Carlisle Castle. One to be executed, and the other sent home. And one turns to the other and says, Don't worry, we'll meet again. Ye take the high road, and I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland afore ye. Building entirely, just crushed and crumbled. 
I'm not sure if it's safe to report from my vantage point. I I really need to leave. So the fences informed me that the surrounding areas are, are in ruin. I I see some people running now. And the opinion of this reporter, if this nation, or in fact the world, ever needed heroes, that time is now. That time is now. And we're back, and uh, everybody seems to like the new one for tonight. Uh, yeah, that's why we only have one new one this week. Uh, that one was a toughie to work on, a lot of uh, different uh, animations that I had to do, and I also had to time it right, and that was the hardest part. And I hope I did good. You guys let me know. Uh, if you think I did good, then uh, uh, show me some love. That's all I got to say. That was and, a good uh, one. At, yeah, I was looking at the super chat goal for tonight. We had a ten dollar Canadian super chat from Radical Mom. I appreciate that. And Sue Studio. Speaking of which, I need to shout out to everybody from the last week, and I haven't done that yet, and it needs to be done. Uh, last week, super chat all star Sue Studio, Radical Mom, Gilster thirty seven, Nightwing. I like salt. Motu Joneser and Briscoe 1234. Thank you so much for those super chats last week. Keep them coming. It's what keeps the show going, keeps it fun, uh, and gives me uh, incentives to bring us uh, some more good stuff. Fucking yes, as uh, figuratively speaking. Yeah, we, we, we do our best to keep things uh, fresh and new over here. So I try to get at least one new one a week. I, I may get something done tomorrow if I get a chance. And seeing as how I'm going to be here by myself all day long, I may do get that chance if I don't stay up too late tonight. Um, we are we are trying to uh, to 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 streamline the format of the show, uh, and I, I, Jones and I talked about that earlier today, and I think it's working. What do you think, Jones? I think we're getting better. We're we're definitely playing off each other better, or dealing with the latency issues. Was uh, that that's been a struggle and i think where we are now compared to where we were we we've done a lot better um i also think uh throwing the music and fun in there and having you know, a, a plan or a segment sometimes shooting from the hip we do okay and other times it's better to kind of have at least a rough idea of what we're going to do that way we uh have a little better idea what to expect yeah and uh i think i outlined it pretty good for you today i might need to write it down and send it to you but uh uh, the way the show is working tonight is kind of the way it's going to work from here on out. And uh, 
Uh, you know, I do shoot from the hip. I've always said I don't plan a whole lot of shit, but I, I did plan a little bit for tonight to try to try to keep the show moving. And uh, I OBS, you owe me a river dance after that debauchery. I swear to God, I'm going to get that done. That's going to take a lot of work. And I may have to work over several weeks to get that done a little bit at a time because that's going to be, that's probably going to be one of my crowning glories if I ever get that done. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I plan on making that look good. Well, and, I uh, can appreciate the work that goes into these kind of things. Like, you know, when uh, I did even those couple little stop animations that I did, you know, probably a year or two ago. I mean, just to get uh, 20, 30 seconds of footage can take you, you know, half a day of shooting it. Uh, I can say this. It takes a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures. And Joneser, you use a piece of software to make your animations, don't you? I do. I actually use a few of them. But I've been mostly using this thing called Wondershare uh, from Filmora, but it, mm -hmm. it's a paid thing. And uh, but it it does it. I needed something that did more than one thing. So this thing, I can do stop animation. I can add animation. I can uh, voiceover. I can uh, add music. Take music away. Put in effects. Um, I've really barely scratched the surface of what this thing can do, and I really need to just sit down and mess with it more. Because I mean, I bought the dang thing; I should use it. But uh, I've been kind of in a creative slump for a while, Bill. I don't know if you've noticed, but my channel's been basically dead for two months. I have not put out any content. I haven't done a video, and I haven't really felt a lot of want to need to want to do so. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to light a fire under your fat ass. That's, that's what's going to have to happen. You know, at one point, yeah. I, even brief, I even briefly considered just pulling it. Just no, being like, you know, that. I don't even know. Leave your, I even leave your shit this. where it is. Uh, Johnny, do you have a love-hate relationship with spam? <laughs> Manic Plastics used that one to share before. Uh, I I admit uh, I probably do things the hard way, but it's only because that that's the only way I know how to do it, and I don't want to spend any money. So I I, I make my own photographs on on uh, with my um, handy dandy uh, whatever this is called camera phone what what do I call it? I make my I make my photographs. I download the photographs. I take the photographs, I stick them into Windows Movie Maker, and I set how long each photograph is going to sit on the screen. 15 to 30 milliseconds per picture in order to make a decent animation. Uh, if you and you can you can you can you can cheat a little bit. Start back up the grind my gears. Pro tip for losers. That stuff was gold. Uh, Jones, or where's episode two of Dick Tracy? Oh, they're calling you out, Jack, man. I want I uh, can't the answer. Um, the, the episode two of Dick Tracy is definitely in the works. We've almost got a complete script for it, which is funny because it's probably not even what was the first one, like not even four minutes or five minutes, maybe. Then that's what we're shooting for for each episode. It's probably going to be about four or five minutes. So the thing is, I have like a long expanded story, but I got to condense each little part to four minutes and try to pace it or move it along in an interesting way. So a lot of it is more planning it out than it is actually filming it. But once I have it all planned out, then I'll, we'll build the sets and we'll start shooting it. Uh, Jonesy's going to have a ham loaf of Dick Tracy party. There we go. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing with, with a lot of you guys don't understand, and Jones are probably understands this better than most because he's got he's tipped his toe in the water. What you think and what you have planned out is not necessarily what comes out. You have to roll with the punches and you have to use what you have. And sometimes that means that uh, something needs to be dropped or rewritten at, on the fly as you go making this shit. 
that's very true. Um, one of the things we wanted to do in that Dick Tracy was to have the um, background speeding by, you know, kind of like a Tom and Jerry cartoon where you see them running and you'll see the same lamp and uh, ta end table go by over mm -hmm. and over. Well, I wanted a cityscape going by as the car went by and it I couldn't figure out how to do it in a way that I liked the way it looks. So I went with like just a white background and then I put these little pointer things in there, you know, and it kind of gave the illusion of movement, but uh, I, I, I wanted to do better than that, but just for the sake of getting the dang thing done and uh, putting it out there. Um, yeah. I kind of cut a corner there that I wish I didn't cut. Cause that's the part of the thing. Everybody always talks about the car. Oh, I love the car. I like the way the car looks. And it's like, oh, I wish I would have took more time with that car scene. Yeah. Uh, I have a I have another tool that I use in my repertoire. It's called VSDC. Uh, it's a it's a it's a full fledged movie maker. It's free. Uh, you can pay for it and get more out of it than what I do. But that's what I use to make things move. Because, like for instance, uh, I have a sky with Wonder Woman's invisible jet zooming by and zooming by. I use that to make that effect happen. You can also do it the reverse. You can have like Superman here on the screen and you can have the clouds or the cityscape move in the background so that it looks like he's flying and all that stuff's moving. And it just takes a little bit. Now, chicks do love the car. That's correct there, Jeff. But yeah, that, that, that's how that's how that works. And uh, it, you, I'm sure your your software can do the same thing. You just have to figure out what it takes to make that happen. No, and I knew that. I, 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 it can probably do way better than even what I'm imagining. But you know, at, at the time, you know, it, not that I'm trying to get the excuse book out, but here we are, excuse book chapter three. Um, I, I, I got a son here who's working on this with me, and he's kind of his patience sometimes while we're doing this isn't exactly where it should be, and sometimes, and in fact, a lot with the set building, it came into that, and uh. You know, he, he's part of the project, too, and I, I wouldn't do any more Dick Tracy without him, you know, so um, it, we got to appease the little guy, too, you know. Thanks. Thanks, Big Mike. He says you do a great job with those, Bill. I, I do my best, uh, and I, sometimes I feel like that, that I'm cutting corners or I'm not giving you the best of what I could do. But uh, the, the, the time constraints are what's the main issue with a lot of this. And uh, like I'm going to I'm probably going to do one for tomorrow, a brand new video that, that will premiere tomorrow night. I know exactly what I want to do. And that it means I have to sit down here and do it. And that, right. that that's what's going to, uh, to to be the biggest thing. Well, and that, that's uh, what I was kind of trying to get at, too, is, like, you, we got to make dinner, help the kid with his homework, you know? Like, there's, I'm being a husband and a father and a parent and a guy who goes to work full time. So, to sit down and, uh, you know, make cardboard buildings and play with the toys, you don't always have that time. That's right. And, 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 and the things that you mentioned first, before you mentioned playing with toys and making cardboard buildings, are more important than this uh or yeah. the youtube in and all that shit you have that has to be done and and uh, i i applaud you jones because you still got kids at home i don't so i can't use that excuse and not that it's an excuse at all but if i if i did my time would be even even smaller than what it is because you have to be dad that's the most important thing that you will ever do in your life my opinion you know, no, I I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. In fact, I I I'd do anything for any of my sons, and uh, they all are different ages and demand different kinds of attention at different times. You know, and lyric might be a little more of the on the needy side because he's got his his issues. So, um, he's younger. You know, we we do what we do. And I will I will say this. If Jonder gets a phone call from one of his kids and said, look, Dad, I need you to pick me up, he's going to pop out of here and he's going to go do it. I already know that. This this is just a given. Yeah, and luckily, he's just down the road. 
but like especially the couple times i had to do that there's snow on the ground and i'm not gonna make him walk you know so i'll go get him i'll come back a lot of times i've gotten lucky and we've been in the middle of a music block or a commercial and you never knew i went you know and then other times you know like earlier today i had to kind of pop off for a second because he needed to talk to me you know but uh yeah i i, I gotta be a parent in real time youtube don't wait that's it says uh i'll probably be able from now on to join you guys on saturday night oh that's great man uh, awesome. so you ain't got to work it I, I, that'd be awesome man uh and obs is that's what dads do that's exactly it yeah it is and uh, she knows she knows all right uh so uh back to the music and fun list real quick before we start set number two so the new one is called white hot rage and that's what evil lynn had was white hot rage at Skeletor, so uh, and there you go. Uh, getting paid that that uh, that's been asked for, but it's already on one of the uh, playlists, so we'll get that tonight. Uh, I, I tried to get some of the newer ones and 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 then throw a few uh, uh, old ones on there as well. Hey, Toy Mama, good to see you. Good to see you. Missed the earlier part of the show where we covered some wonderful dishes. You might want to go back and watch that again because you might get some ideas on some lovely dishes to serve there to your uh to your man you and you probably uh, got a uh, angie baby sitting in one of those blocks don't you because that's been called for a few times i do i do i do as a matter of fact i know angie baby is the is the one that everybody wants to hear so angie baby is on the last set of the list today so uh we're only going to do three sets uh we're limiting it because we went way over last time so so badly that Joneser had to had to leave. He 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 couldn't take it anymore. So we're not going to try to stay up that late this time. It wasn't that I so couldn't take it anymore. It was another one of those uh, how to go be a parent moments. I got you. And uh, but anyway, there there's there's the list, folks. And uh, we'll 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 try to we'll try to vary the the songs from from show to show. That way, we're not showing the same things over and over and over again. But I do know that there's favorites and that everybody wants to hear their favorite from time to time. Oh, hey, yeah. don't worry. Don't worry, Sue Studio. I got you. I got you covered. So uh, let's get on into the set number two of music and fun on uh, Up All Night. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from Glen to Glen and down the mountainside. The summer.
Christmas, I'm high on crack. I, mister, I see you. I, mister, pain in his back. They call me crack addict, whatever I touch. Show to buy more drugs. It's never enough. Jerry's got out a brand new record. We think you're going to get a kick out of it. Listen to the King and Wimp Busters.
Okay, Mumbles. Big Boy's on his way to the Slammer. Itchy's probably at the bottom of the river. You are in the hot seat. Now, where is Flat Top? What are you talking about, Brady? I don't know no Flat Top. No point denying it, Mumbles. We got plenty of photos of the two of you together. Cooperate. Maybe get a lighter sentence. You got nothing on me. I didn't do nothing on my lawyer. Forget it, Sam. I'm done playing nice. Hit the lights. Sorry, Mumbles. Looks like you're in for a long night. You're giving me the degree and I want my lawyer. This ends when you tell me where Flattop is. No, 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 Dick Tracy. Come in, Tracy. What do you need, Pat? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Tracy, flat tops out on 5th and G, firing indiscriminately. Two officers and a few civilians are down. He's screaming for you. I'm on my way. Where's Tracy? He doesn't have the guts to face me. I'll kill every copper until I see he shows. He's out of control. Lost his mind. I'll have to wait for the right moment. There he is, I... Eat leg! Steady, Tracy. He's going to be out soon. Now! What? Reload? Not now! This is Tracy. Suspect is down. Repeat, suspect is down. Alright, Tracy. Dispatching an ambulance. <laughs> And we're back. And I was watching the chat very closely on that one. Uh, thank you, Jeff, for your kind words about Batman. And uh, looked like Mike P said uh, that Dick Tracy episode is one of his favorites. And uh, Manic Plastic agrees with him. So there you go. Yeah, that, that, that puts a fire under my butt to get episode two going. Um. I, and I did try to write in the, because everybody likes the car. So I tried to, I have the villain car too. So I'm trying to incorporate that one. And so that way, you know, get to see the other car. Yeah, that police car is pretty damn cool. Uh, and I, I agree with uh, Radical Mom there. I, I, I really like that police car. I'm jealous of that police car to the point where I might get that police car just to have it here in my collection, whether I get Dick Tracy figures or not. And that was one well, bumpy ass road that he was going <laughs> over too. And that, that played into what I was talking about earlier when I couldn't get the thing to work the way I wanted it to. So I literally just held it up against a white sheet and, you know, did that and, Realized I'd overdone it, but we've already shot it. So yeah, there it is, <laughs> you know. Now, you, you make do with what you got to work with, and sometimes it don't turn out the way you wanted it to. But then right. again, sometimes when it don't turn out the way you want it to, it's better than what you really wanted because everybody else likes it. And, 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 and as creators, especially, you know, like all music fan can relate as a musician, you're your own worst critic as creators. It's the same way you, you, you're going to pick apart every little thing you do and find all the flaw in it when you should just sit back and be happy that you got enough time and money to dedicate to this hobby and enjoy your life instead of stress on these little things. 
And OBS wants to know if the police car was part of Dick Tracy line or did it, or did it, was it separate? It was part of the line, right? Yeah. I, I even kept the box. I have the box behind me sitting up there with it. And, uh, yeah, that it, it was actually probably the more expensive part of the line, not the most expensive part of the line, but um, I think the cars are usually circle around a hundred bucks if you want them in box. You could probably get them missing parts under fifty if you look around. You know, um, obviously the most expensive piece in that line would be the blank figure that. Um, I'll probably yeah. never have one. That thing goes like five thousand dollars. I think there's only a certain number of those in existence, and the ones that are in existence are known. My personal right. opinion. Uh, as far as the car goes, this is my take on that. I don't think the car was originally supposed to go in the line. They stuck it in the line, kind of like Battle Cat and He Man. Yeah, he's not to scale, so the the figure does not fit into the car very well at all. Um, Lack Sivrak had a great idea, and I might use it. Um, the figures themselves are kind of cheap to get, especially uh, incomplete, uh, even broken ones, and which broken one would play to my favor here because get a Dick Tracy and a Sam Ketchum without the legs, you could probably fit both of them in the car. Not, yeah, not that, that was that was the one that was the one thing that was the one thing that I didn't like was the fact that it looked like it was a one seater. Dick Dick Tracy sitting in the middle of a car. Uh, police cars need to at least have two seats in them. And you you can't put a bad guy in the back either. There's no doors for the back, and if you got that figure back in there, I don't think you'd ever get it back out again. And uh, it, it does have some cool features though, like you could put a figure on. I don't know what they call that, the side panel or whatever, like where there's a a floorboard the running, running board. board thank you running board and yeah you could stick him there with on the running board and there's even a peg hole thing for his foot and uh i i, I thought about mapping out a, a car chase gunfight scene where you know old dick tracy or sam ketchum would be on that running board uh exchanging gunfire with the baddies and uh radical mom says great job jones and leary so there you go man that that that's yeah, I, what I, counts right there. I I got to give lyric a lot of the credit for that because he did a lot of the heavy lifting. You know, I wrote the script and then he made the sets, and that was really, you know, the thing. Exactly, and uh, and when we get the praise for uh, the and letting us know that we've actually entertained you with our with our little misgivings here, that's what really makes it worthwhile, doesn't it, Dozer? It, it does, and, and I'm I'm kind of inspired to to get back at it, but uh, I doubt I'll be able to film episode two this weekend anyway because I, I can't do it without my little guy. Exactly, and I understand that uh, he would probably feel left out if you didn't, and we we can't have that either. All right, well we're getting ready to do our final set, folks. If you've got any suggestions, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. So you guys can look at it there. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, there's the list. Uh, I've got I've got a set of stuff coming up here. Uh, and if you want anything that's not being played in the set that you want, you know, uh, let me know. A super chat would help because we are uh, running on chips here. Uh, we need new equipment. We need a, a a really powerful computer, really really bad. And it, it's kind of tough when you ain't got no money. So, you know, I hate to beg, but that, that's what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Uh, we, we got y'all covered on that one. I knew that was going to be one that was going to be really suggested. So it's it, it, it's coming. So uh, uh, any any suggestions from you besides that one there, Jones? Or? Uh, that's the one my brain is screaming for. Don't, don't you worry. That... Uh, that's going to be that's going to be the one that tops the night off, and I, I believe that's going to be that way for a while. I, everybody seems to like that one. Uh, so we finally got one that beats uh, Drunken Sailor, and and we finally got one that, that, that all the ones that everybody loves. So, and uh, and w there may be a couple that I retire. Hi-Yo Silver, all right. Uh, 
I will consider that. That's kind of a long one, but yeah, I will consider that. We'll see what happens when we start playing the list here. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to retire anything. The only thing I might retire is Allegory of the Cave. That's a bit long and uh, it's kind of deep, but uh, it, it's worthy to play at least once every once in a while, I think. And of course, somebody may want it bad enough to pay me for it. And uh, you know how that goes. I, I do. I, I think I remember that one. That one was kind of long-winded and uh, kind of felt flat, I want to say, when we played it the one time. I, I've played it before, and it played well, but the thing is, you have to be in the mood for something like that. Usually, I play stuff like that when something's on my mind, uh, because the, the purpose of the allegory of the cave is to show us that the world we live in, we think we see a lot of times as an illusion. And then once we come out of that cave and we get away from that and we see what it really is, it's kind of eye opening. Uh, no retirements. Uh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, and I'm getting, I'm getting a couple of Sally Brown requests here. I, I might be able to get Sally Brown, uh, horned into this. Uh, you guys just let me know, uh, if there's something that, that, that it's on there. I, I want to try to work on a new one for tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. If I got enough time to get it done, but uh, let's, let's get, let's get started. Unless you have something that you want to say before I do. Jones. No, sir. All right, here we go.
all right. Now Dewey is a guy who ain't very smart. He just rambles along in his crazy car. He shows no class and acts like a clock. And there's always a smell around Dewey's hot rod. Oh yeah, Dio. Cloud of dust and a hearty high old silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early west.
I own silver. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. The Adventures of Superman. have any idea what y'all are talking about in the chat you need to get your minds out of the gutter well as you can hear the ducks are playing and it's about that time yeah i guess i'll have to check them clouds out them girls are seeing that shit in them clouds i never paid attention to the clouds so i don't know we'll have to look at it next time we play it and there will be a next time. That is a song that is very popular here. And it's one that I definitely spend a lot of time in my own head at work playing it. Uh, we were talking earlier. I was on, you know, forklifting at work and all that. And you, baby, you such a lady. You know, and my co-workers looking at me like I lost my damn mind. Now, that's okay. Uh, it's better that you're that you're happy losing your mind than mad losing your mind, right? Seeing both. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate every one of you. Thank you for our super chatters to Studio and Radical Mom. Uh, we got started. Uh, we're about uh, almost twenty percent of the way there to our super chat goal for the weekend. Uh, we're still looking for those subscribers to get that thousand. They seem to come and go, man. I, I get I get a couple and I lose one. I get a couple and I lose two. I get a couple and I lose one. And you know, it's just a, it's a, it's the way it goes. You just uh, it's a it's a slow grind, you know, John. You know, it is, you know, or you can even be like me and not even do anything for two months, and you only lose six. Yeah. I know, but you know, uh, it, it too late for what there, Mike, I'm curious. Uh, check out the characters of the artists. Yes, Sue Studio. I've often said that when it, when it was playing sometimes, I say, can, can you see the the artists that you see in the clouds and in her mind as they pass by? Who all do you see? Yeah, it, 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 it's cool as hell. And uh, like I said, thank everybody for being here. John, do you got any final words? No, not really. Just uh, be if you like this kind of nonsense, come check us out again tomorrow night. I'm sure we'll be at it again and in, in the same form and fashion with some newer material. So uh, hopefully we'll see all y'all then. And in the meantime, have a good journey. Special thanks to the channel supporters. Without your help, these adventures would not be possible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's adventure, please hit like, subscribe, and share the video.